Number three, calculate the molecular or the formula mass of each of the following, and then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to find the molecular mass or the formula mass of calcium nitrate, which is CaNO3,2. Okay, now in order to find out any mass, molecular or formula, or even a molar mass, which I think is coming up later in this chapter, or maybe we have did it already, depends on what videos you have watched already, but it all comes down to knowing how many individual elements that you have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite this a little bit bigger. So we have calcium, then we have nitrogen and oxygen, nitrate, NO3, and then I have a two here. Okay. So the first thing we have to figure out is how many elements we have, right? How many different elements do we have? Well, I kind of gave you a little hint down here, right? There's three different elements here. I have calcium, Ca. I have nitrogen, which is N, and then I have oxygen, right, which is O. Okay, so I'm just going to write those down. I'm going to, like, list them out. So I have Ca, N, and O. Okay, perfect. Now, the next thing you're going to do to find a molecular mass or a formula mass is figure out how many of each individual element you have in your compound. So let's go from left to right. Now, I have a Ca here, right, so that's calcium, but... How many do I have, right? Well, I don't have any numbers here, right? You see how there's like a three down here and a two down here? This will tell you stuff about the nitrogen and the oxygen. But for calcium, I don't have any number down here. So how many do I have? Ah, I have a secret one. Anytime that you don't see a number next to the element in a compound, you have one of them. So I have one calcium. Now let's see how many nitrogens I have, right? I have an N in the middle, and there's no number next to the N. There's a number next to the oxygen, right? But there's no number next to the N. So that means that there's one here. But any time that you see a parenthesis and a number outside, that means you have to multiply by all the elements inside of the parenthesis. So for example, I have one nitrogen inside here, but since there's two of them, I have to do one times two. So one times two tells me that I really have two nitrogens. And now do the same thing for the oxygen. Inside, I had three, but technically since I have two of the whole compound, two times three is six. So I have six oxygens. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to multiply each one of these by the molecular mass on the periodic table. So here I wrote down uh, what I see on my periodic table, and I put the exact numbers uh, on my periodic table. These numbers might be different from yours, depending on what periodic table you have, but these whole numbers should be the same. Now, the question is, which number is the mass number, right? We're looking for a molecular mass turns out that the decimal numbers, or the ones that are greater, right, the bigger numbers, it's not going to happen all the time, but we can go by the decimal amounts are always going to be the molecular masses or the formula masses of each individual atom on the periodic table. So for example, nitrogen weighs 14.01. Now it could be grams per mole or it could be AMU. In this case, we're going to do AMU because they're looking for a molecular mass. So all I have to do is just take the molecular masses of each element and just multiply by how many I have. So I'm just going to line them up. Calcium's over here. So that's 40.08. And the unit I'm going to use is AMU. AMU stands for atomic mass unit. Nitrogen is 14.01. So that's 14.01 AMU. And oxygen should be 16 AMU. Okay. So now let's just multiply these numbers across and see what we get. Well, 1 times 40.08 AMU is 40.08 AMU. 2 times 14.01 uh, uh, is 28.02 AMU. 
And then we got 6 times 16. I believe that that's 96. And now, what do you think we're going to do to all three of these numbers if we need to find the molecular mass or the formula mass of the whole compound? Yeah, we're going to add them all up, and that's it. So now I'm going to get my calcy out. I'm going to say 40.08 plus 28.02 plus the 96, and we get a total of 164.1. One sixty four point one. I'll leave the point one zero for sig fig purposes, but you don't have to. And that is your total molecular mass or formula mass of calcium nitrate, CaNO three two. So this whole thing weighs one sixty four point one AMUs, and that's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you would like. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And I hope we got, you know, I hope I'm, I'm helping you guys out in your chem classes. And let's just keep studying hard, okay? I know you got this. Keep working hard. I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.